Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather a week and a half ahead. And of course, that period is going to feature plenty of heat and not much more as far as rain. So we're thankful that we did get the rain that we got last night and this morning. Here's a radar estimation of rainfall totals during the past 24 hours. And you can see from northern McCurtain County, Sevier, Howard, Hempstead, Nevada counties, all receiving as well as Columbia County, anywhere from one to over two inches of uh, rainfall. In fact, a few isolated spots likely received over three inches of rain over the northern sections of Howard County. Amounts much lighter further to the south as we barely got a little bit of rain in Shreveport and it does appear as if that rain is pretty much ended. Here's a look at the current weather pattern as we continue to watch the upper level ridge which extends here across the southern edge of the country into the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to see this expand somewhat uh, towards the north and eventually kind of settle into the plains here as we go through the next week and a half. That is going to keep us very hot and it's also going to result in a good solid week and a half of mainly dry weather across the Arkletex. I mentioned the heat. Temperatures tomorrow over much of the area likely will once again reach the triple digits. Heat index values will approach 110 in spots as we will see a, either a heat advisory or an excessive heat warning in place for tomorrow. These are the advisories and warnings that are in effect right now for today. Expect an expansion of the heat advisory and perhaps even an expansion of the excessive heat warning for tomorrow given the expected uh, heat index values that are uh, uh, expected to occur. Robin, sorry to Futurecast, showing you that we'll see a partly to mostly cloudy sky across the Oracle text tonight as any additional rain likely will stay to our north. Expect a mix of clouds and sunshine tomorrow that will warm us into the upper 90s to lower triple digits over much of the area. Uh, tomorrow night we'll see a partly cloudy sky and then Thursday expect once again plenty of sunshine and nothing additional as far as rain. Now moving forward, uh, we are going to be looking at the dry conditions continuing. Yesterday we did see a big addition to the burn ban list. All of East Texas, all of Northwest Louisiana now under burn bans as we are looking at the very dry conditions. This is the part of the Oracle text which did not get much as far as rainfall and uh, with the lack of rain anticipated for the next couple of weeks, it does appear as if we likely will see more additions to that list here moving forward. Look at the weather pattern here and you can see the upper level ridge and you can see how it expands towards the north here as we uh, go through the uh, next week and a half. And by the time we get to the weekend, that's probably when we will experience the peak in this latest heat wave as daytime highs will be several degrees above 100. Nothing as far as rain. We'll see that ridge retreat a little bit to the west temporarily. That may allow for the chance of rain to return to the Oracle text by the end of next week, the way it checks out right now. So your forecast looks like this for tonight. Expect a partly cloudy sky. Again, nothing additional as far as rain as we'll see lows in the mid to upper 70s over most of the area. 79 degrees for the low tonight in Shreveport. 76 degrees in Texarkana. 78 degrees for the low temperature in Marshall. Tomorrow, going to be looking at a mix of clouds and sunshine. We crank up the heat again. 101 for the high in Shreveport, 104 in Natchitoches, 97 in Texarkana, 97 also in DeKalb as heat index values likely in spots could approach or even exceed 110. So again, be careful in the heat. And your 10-day forecast shows a good solid 10 days of triple digit heat across the area as we'll see uh, highs in that 100 to 104 degree range, uh, lows in the upper 70s to low 80s. Nothing really too much as far as rain uh, until we get to the very end of next week.